this video I'll show you how to animate simple explosions frame by frame in Photoshop. Hi, my name is Manuel. We'll go through the steps of animating frame by frame and how to finish all up in After Effects. So stick around. First thing you have to keep in mind is that we're working with pixels. That's why I like to work in 4K, just to be sure. So let's create a new 4K canvas. I use the motion workspace, by the way. Then we need a timeline, of course. That's in the top, window menu, timeline. Moving that window down a little bit. Then you want to click on create video timeline. On the right, in the settings, we set the timeline frame rate to 12 frames per second, the usual frame rate. Then let's scale into the timeline and move the end to one second. All right. In the top layer menu, we select video layers and then new blank video layer. That kind of layer lets you draw something new each frame, which is pretty cool. I'll show you another possibility on how to do that later. Under video layers, you have a bunch of things you can do, duplicate or delete frames or interpret your footage, if you import one, like in After Effects. Let's grab the pencil tool. Size 3 pixels. Let's start with outlines. We draw the first cloudy or smoky shape and move to the next frame. To see the frame before, you need to activate onion skin. One frame before and after is fine. Let's keep it like that for now. The shape is growing bigger in the second step. The cool thing is, explosions are happening pretty fast, so you don't have to be that exact, which is great, especially if you just start doing frame by frame animation. The third step, the smoke cloud is still growing bigger. I quickly add another layer, move it to the beginning. Just avoid a sudden change of direction, as this wouldn't happen in an explosion. There's just so much pressure. Speed is determined through distance and frame by frame animation. At the beginning, steps are bigger, then with air resistance and friction, steps are getting smaller and shapes are breaking apart. Anyways, let's add a small shape along our main directions. The center is starting to clear up. Once more, the outer shape is growing and the inner shape as well. Now this big cloud is falling apart, breaking up into three smaller pieces along our main directions. Some smaller cloudlets between them. Then in the next step, it is breaking apart even further and slowing down, so the distances are getting smaller. The little clouds are getting smaller and smaller and disappearing one after another. At the end there are two bubbles left. Then one. Oh boy, this is fun! For playback you want to deactivate onion skin. Let's bring it back to our link and hide the guide layer. Awesome, it's exploding. Let's go through once more and adjust the shapes. By the way, if you like what you see, please consider leaving a like and a comment. It helps the channel a lot. Thanks so much. Awesome. Let's delete the guide layer. We add a new layer, grab the scissors and cut it at one second. Delete the second half. Instead of using another video layer, let's create a video group by cutting the layer again after one frame and dragging the right part down again. Let's cut that layer into frames. You can easily copy frames or move them. You usually would use that option for more complex animations. Anyways. Let's turn it into shapes. I start redrawing the shape using the magnetic lasso tool. L is the shortcut. Then you might want to smooth the selection. 10 pixels. It's really hard to draw perfect shapes. Color black. Then change to the paint bucket tool or press G and fill the selection. We'll change the color later in After Effects. We go through all the frames, which is a bit of work, but I just love the look of frame by frame animation, so I think it's worth the effort. Had their own sins, down to the river. Awesome. And again, we make some adjustments to the shapes. Did you remember to name the layers? <laughs> Me neither. 
and let's save it. One last thing, we head over to After Effects, create a new comp with 24 frames per second, press Command I to import the PSD file, as composition retain layer sizes. Here are all the three layers we just named. And add the comp to our master comp. Let's add a white background solid to see the black shapes. And scale the explosion down a bit, as it's 4K. Then we add fill to our explosion comp and change the color to whatever we like. Awesome. You could go crazy and add a glow. And even roughen edges to change the corners of the shapes. It's about time for you to create something awesome out of this. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. So see you there in a second. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and please hit the bell to get notified when my next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something and had a bit of fun. See you in the next video. Bye!